Let's keep it fast. Should have just played B3. Why did I play H3? Um, let's go here and hit the bishop. Someone just came in, but someone just came in. That's why I got caught confused for a second. Um, let's take and go bishop b1, maybe. <sighs> is that a th is knight f2 actually a threat? Because I think it is. I'm just going to go here just to guard against this threat. I got to be a little bit careful. I'm being a little bit too nonchalant, I feel like, at the moment. I think Dom 2 for the good sub, Lenny H for the 8, and Wolf Ben for the 8. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go night before. So I trade. Go back. Plays H6. Now, I definitely cut the... I cut the diagonal first. I think I do. Now, do I play A3 or not is also a question. Or do I... Yeah, I think I do. <clears throat> Drop back with knight f4. I think this is very pleasant for me. Should be pretty good. Not sure what exactly is going on, but I feel like I'm doing well. Um, again, this looks very problematic. Or I can just blunder d4. Very stupid. Wait, I have to be careful how I play this. Wait a second. I'm going to play b4 here. Could have played 92. Oh, 92 is a good. Why don't I play 92 there? <clears throat> I guess I have B5, though. I do have B5 to, let, to undermine the pony. If he takes, I just take with a king and go king E2. It's very funny, but it, it works. If he does it. Wait, what? Let's see it. I thought I had king e2. Maybe I'm blind. But we got to play it like the true bond cloud. Do I go to e2 is the question. I think I do just go here. It's like a traditional bond cloud. And I think I'm just winning here. It's the queen d3. If bishop d4, I go b5. I undermine the pony. <clears throat> okay, it goes bishop d4. I thought just b5 is ggs. In fact, why isn't it just ggs? It looks like ggs to me. <clears throat> Yeah, this just looks like GG's. We're going to win this first game. Thank you to the Joe Journey for the Tier 1. Thank you so much, Joe Journey. Thank you to Crispy for the good sub to, to a hashtag. Thank you so much. I think it's just GG's. I don't see any moves that keep the game alive. It's also way down the clock. Just no chance. How much for the win? I gained like two points. That's how low rated everyone is or how overinflated my rating is. I gained two whopping points. This wins. Okay, he's trying something, but it does nothing. I mean, he's got this, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gaining like no points. Let's be solid here. Ugh. Who wants to do this one again? I'm going to play this. This is dubious, but I'm going to play it. <clears throat> Just play H6, I guess, 97.
think Bishop E6 looks just very solid. I mean, to me, this looks fine. <laughs> just gonna castle next move. I like my position. I like the I like the stonk. Min late's already through. Yeah, it's, on the other side, there are a lot of weak pairings from what I could tell. Do I go a5? I assume I just castle. I probably okay, plays a5. I, I think that's a good choice. There are a lot of mismatches, is what is what it sounded like you guys were saying. So f5 is a move here. Do I want to play f5 or not? I think I do. <clears throat> Hold. I think I'm doing well here. I mean, d4 is a move, but I just go e4. I think I can go just go knight f6 back. I mean, it's probably about equal, but a draw is fine for me here. I don't mind a draw. It's just like, as long as I don't risk anything with like where I could lose, then it's just fine. Let's go here and trade. We can play an end game, but there's no way he's going to win this. Really, the only thing I'm focused on is just being super stable here. Let's go here. Hard, very hard to play. I mean, the only thing White has he has a slightly, some slight pull on the queen side. Like, you can somehow trade queens and sack and go b5, a6, a7. He might be able to win. That's all that he has in the way of uh, counterplay. So I th I think I'm just completely fine here. This bishop b3. I think I'm just gonna go f5. Why not? <clears throat> I always go f4. I mean, I'm gonna go here and hit the pawn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go. Uh, I have 97. I think I'm just gonna go here. Idea to play e4 and hit the pawn this way. He's got time. He's only down one minute here. He plays h4, which I actually thought was a little bit sketchy. Um. Let me think about how, how to play this. Because there are many ways to play this. E4 is one way that I think I'm fine. But that's probably not more than a draw. And do I want more? Do I want to try to win this game or not is also a question. Huh. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Um, decisions, decisions, decisions. I think I'm just going to wait. I mean, he can go bishop h3, but okay, yeah. I mean, the thing is, he doesn't have anything. So do I mind a draw here? Kind of want to try to win this somehow, but just not here, it looks like. <laughs> I'm going to try to win this. Let's, let's try to win this. Wait, why did I do that, actually? Go here. Might be a mistake by me. I think I still can draw without too much difficulty, but I... That was a little bit wrong. A little bit wrong. Yeah, queen b8. If I take it to draw, I do have some e4 and f4 stuff now. Maybe I just make the draw. If I can make the draw. It's, this is not easy. I should not have done this. Take. I have e4 and takes. A little bit dangerous. But I don't think I'm really in trouble here. Because I always have e4 and knight c3, and I should be should be able to draw. Okay, so he takes, so he checks, I go here. I mean, he can go queen d8, but I don't think he's ever winning. Maybe I can even start running with the king. <clears throat> There's king h2, that hangs a pawn. Oh, he wants queen b7. I'm just going to push this pawn, start running the pawn up the board. Takes, I guess I just take with the queen to make the draw, but I'll take with the pawn. Yeah, this should just be a draw. The only question is, how do I play this? Can I try to win or not is the only question. My instinct says probably not. Can I, though? No, I, ca I can't play to win. I think I just have to make the draw here. So let's just go. Let's go here and make the draw. Just no nonsense. Just no nonsense. Yeah. Draw is fine for me, of course. Um, yeah. 
Draw is fine. I, I know I lose like 20 bazillion points, but it's still fine. Thank you to the RC for the two months. Yeah, it's fine. A draw is fine. Okay, it might maybe for the maybe for the for the bet it's bad, but I'm not gonna gamble there. I'm sorry. Just not it's not the time. It's not the time to gamble. The winning the event matters a lot more. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the pawn. I mean, a draw is totally fine. Why would a draw not be fine? Actually, let's go here. Let's force him to trade. Because I don't mind trading pieces. I, I only need a draw to move on. A draw is fine. So I just drop back. And I mean, this feels very pleasant. Let's go. Maybe pleasant is the wrong word to use. Take. D4, I just take. Okay, I'm just going to castle here. Maybe like knight c6 probably. I had knight a4 maybe. Should have played knight a4 right away. <clears throat> Actually, I've kind of misplayed this just a little bit. I'm going to go here and queen c3 and take, maybe. If I go here. d4, I just take. Why did I do this? What am I doing? I just blundered. I was supposed to go queen d3. Just blundered. Yikes. I hope I'm not just lost here, because I could very easily just be lost. Here on bishop e4. Oh, actually, I can take on. Yikes, this is very scary. I might be okay, but this looks very dangerous. I guess if knight d3, I have queen b7, so I'm kind of just barely hanging on here. Uh, if he goes here right away, I have bishop e4 to cut it. I think I'm okay. Very weirdly, I think I'm okay. So now, if I take d3, he's got knight f4. I mean,. Okay, I mean, I just have to try to salvage this. <clears throat> Probably he's going to go rook b8. I'm going to go like queen a Okay, takes on d4. It's a reasonable move, although, again, I don't feel like that's best. I'm going to go knight f3. Get my knight to a much better square here. It's either a position where if my opponent finds some great idea, he's going to win this in the next, like, move or two. If I get the next five moves and I'm not lost, I'm going to be able to draw this very easily. So this is all going to matter up to, um, all going to matter over the, uh, all that matters is the next, like, five moves, roughly. So queen a6 is a move. Queen a7 is also a move. Is it a good move or not? As Gordon Gecko would say, greed, for lack of a better word, greed is good. So let's go for it. Uh, or did I just blunder? I think I just blundered something. Did I blunder? He's got rook a8 next move. Go here. <laughs> this is very dangerous. It goes queen d5. I'm going to go rook d1, of course. Or do I go king h? Actually, no. Let's go d2. I think this is fine. I mean, he has to find some way to win here, or else I'm I'm okay. Oh, he's got this. Ah, I forgot about this move. Shoot. And now I'm going to lose the game, probably. Unless I can flag him. I did not see knight h3. Shoot. I probably had nothing better anyway, though. Let's think for a second. Okay, so I'm going to take. It's way too greedy, probably, trying to grab that pawn. Okay, but let's go here. Oh, I just blunder queen c2. Is that? Or e2 even. Not meant to be. That was just a bad move. Okay, let's just go here. I just got to move. Oh. Okay, takes. I go here. Yeah, this just loses. <sighs> so bad. Um, let's go here. Wait, he blundered upon. Wait, I'm back in it. I'm back in it.
or not. Queen off five. Um. He's got too much time. Yeah, he's got too much time. All right. Not a good game. All right, not a good game at all. I should not have taken that second pawn at a7, but I played I played that opening very poorly anyway. It was a poor opening. Yeah. After queen d5, maybe I you know, king h1, knight g2 probably is losing. It's probably all just losing. But we have one one, so we I think it's a one it's a one one game if I'm not mistaken. The one one game. So as long as I'm fast, it'll all be fine. You know, CH KR pri live for the prime. Thank you so much. Ah, okay, let's go. It's one oh. I'm gonna go d5, probably not right. Let's see. Gotta remember this is 1 1, this is not 1 0, so it's a little bit different how I approach this. <clears throat> That seems like a dubious move. Let's go here. Very slow. It plays H4. Okay, H4 maybe is a good move. Let's go here. Okay, he pre-moved H5. That was a very bad pre-move by him. Very, very bad pre-move. Oh, there I guess. And okay, now I'm going to win the game. Check. GG's. I need to trade for the two months. All right, we got the win. We move on. Get the win. Not a good match, but it's a win. Okay, so next round, I think it's set up. So let me... Uh... Okay. Okay. 
There we go. We got the win. Not a good, not a good game, but it's still, it's still, as as we say, win is win. Win is win. Let me see. I was asking one of the next matches. No, no taking the queen reason. Well, I mean, the thing is, I, I had 50 seconds. So, uh, yeah, I was just waiting for him to resign. Yeah, it's, it's not. It, today is probably the, the most difficult. Uh, out of all the Arena Kings, this one has the most unpleasant matchups heading, into the, heading down the stretch. So, yeah. Is it the dude who was complaining about the peach drops? Yeah, it was. All right. Warnick game, they say it's starting in two minutes. Take a deep breath, because that was not easy at all. That was that was quite quite stressful. If I played that opening better in in game three, I would I would have been able to avoid all the drama. But it's still a win is a win. Do you notice that whenever you start playing for a draw, the opening you get a really bad position? No, I was trying to be too solid and I messed it up. I was trying to relax and and breathe. No, we're only in the quarters. I think we're only in the quarterfinals. It's very very difficult. Don't go to the don't go to tie breaks against Borden too edgy. I mean, I'm the favorite in in regular and in in bullet whatever it is. But again, I would say it's not too different from the FIDE World Cup where there's variance in any given game. Something bad can happen in any given game. Anything can happen. So that's kind of the point. So that's why like that's also why I like the final much more because when it's best of five, you you have more margin. Like if you, if you play a bad game and if you play a bad game in there. If you have a bad game in there, then you can like you can recover from it. But like in a best of three, if you throw in a bad game, it can be really difficult. So that's just what I would say. I don't know Bordnick personally. No, I don't actually. What was the moment your channel went stratospheric? Um I feel like in the run up to the XQC collaboration, it was already starting to get pretty insane. Like I saw it was popping off to like five or six thousand, and it was even up to like eight or nine. But that XQC collaboration really just blew it out of the water, and it became consistent from then on. But it felt like I would say like once I started streaming every day in like February, and it was like February March when I started streaming every day, the the, the peak numbers started getting pretty high, like seven eight thousand. Um, that's when it kind of it's like it's like oh wow this is real. And then of course the XQC. Collaboration just blew chess out of the out of out of the water completely. I started watching after you coached David Pacman. Yeah, Pog Champs, of course, was huge. Like the whole Twitch thing, it started with XQC, um, but then it turned into Pog Champs, and it was just a, a lot of fun. So that's what I would say. Uh, five to six months ago? No, it's more than that. It was like uh, almost, it was over a year ago now. It was like April of last year. I started watching after Michelle Carey's London video dropped. Yeah, I think Michelle's going to be releasing a new video on chess soon um, that I'm in. So it's going to be fun. I owe XQC a lot, be at least 90% of the credit for these numbers. Oh, I'm not saying there isn't credit to go around, but I'm saying, I, I mean, I think XQC really, when he, when he started playing chess nonstop and, and like all those clips were on Reddit, were on LSF, like it really changed. Like people just started trying chess even. And that really mattered a lot. Why am I not running? Yeah. Why am I not running exactly? Have I seen my sub base grow after Levy stopped streaming? No, I have not actually. Um, I don't. I think it's first of all it's summertime, but secondly, I think a lot of people who subbed to my channel were subbing to to Levy's channel as well. So I don't think there was like uh, there was a huge, big, like unique crowd. I think our channels share a lot of the same people. But anyway, I'm good. I'm good. But yeah. Yeah, we're just rolling, rolling, rolling along. Jonas and PogChamps, he posted Checkmate on Instagram. I am thinking about doing something with, with live chess in, in Milwaukee down the road. If, the, if that happens, thank you, Wacky Wizard, for the two months. It'd be awesome if I could do something like that, but something with Giannis. But yeah. In the meantime, we just, we're, we're playing in Arena Kings right now. Don't worry about the numbers. You're consistent will pay off. Well, I think that's actually the single biggest thing is that like when I started getting very serious, I have no cold note. But when I was getting very serious about streaming like late 2019, early 2020, um, when I was getting serious about it, it's like 
you know, the numbers are numbers are going up. They're going up by like 500 to 1,000, but it's like, it's not really that big, I would say. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go back to this line. Ah, I almost was about to slip there and lose the game. That would have been really bad. Yikes. Jeez. I was about to play E5. <laughs> Jeez. That would have been so sad. I know knight h4 is a move here, but I'm just going to go bishop e3. I feel like I've got a good position. Maybe not great, but it feels good. I'm thinking of Matavor for the tier 1. Okay, goes for key. I'm going to play d5. I don't know if it's the right move, but I'm going to do it. This knight f8. I mean, again, this does not look right. Now, do I play b3 or not? I'm going to go here. Probably I should play bishop b3 and rotate. I don't know why I should not have let him get knight g6. g2 and rook d1 makes a lot of sense. Thank you. Appreciate it. Go c5. That looks like an insane move. I never would have played c5 there. I guess he figures he can do something on the on the king's side, but I mean, I kind of don't really believe it. Probably should believe it, because it actually looks kind of scary the more I look at this. Probably I should, yeah, I probably should actually treat this seriously. That he can play f5. D6, strange move. Okay, I think I'm going to go here because I have bishop c6 and maybe knight b5. Did I just blunder? Wait, what? Oh, he just wants to go f5, really? Not that that's a bad move, but it's kind of strange. Like, really kind of strange. I think I'm just going to go, like, here and take, maybe. Not a bad move. Whoa, thank you to Matavor for the 100 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Matavor. Thank you for the 100 gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Just queen f5, I mean. I'm going to trade and go like here in knight d2 and take e4. Why did I do that? This was stupid too. d5, f4, takes, takes. D4, rookie 6 looks fine. I'm trusting this works. If I'm wrong, then I'm probably losing the game. If I'm wrong, I lose the game here, but I don't think I'm wrong. We'll find out in like the next half move if I'm wrong. Either, either, this, either, either I'm probably better or close to winning, or I'm, or I'm probably in bad shape. I have F5... F5, knight F4, and I don't have anything, I guess. Wait, or do I have rookie one? Wait a second. Let's think about this. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Rookie one takes F5. Rookie one, bishop H. Rookie one, bishop H4, G3. I think it works. <sighs> Let's see. Does it work or not? Because if takes, I have F5. If bishop H4, I go G3. I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning. I think this is right. So let's make sure. I don't see it. And he doesn't see it either, which means that this should be good. Do I go F5 as another? No, F5 he's got Knight of Faith, so I just take. Okay. I am winning here. I'm quite sure of it. I'm quite sure that with f5, I'm winning here, or h5. This must be winning. It goes rook d2. I can go f5, but I think I just very quietly go rook e2. Yeah, I just very quietly just relax and take a deep breath. And now I go h5, kick the knight back. He can't take some rook f2. Now I go. I mean, rook e3 actually looks just very annoyingly simple. Okay. Ah, uh, he has tricks here. Okay. King F8, logical. Go here. 
go here and I have this check maybe. Now I go check in mate. Oh, it's not mate. Wait. I thought it was mate. Whoops. Whatever. This still is winning. There we go. We got the win. Let's keep going. One up, one down. Think of a check as a tutorial for the five, the great plaque for the prime, and Wasper for the prime. Okay, let's just get back to solid. Okay, let's do this one. I'm going to go D5 here. I think A5 is always supposed to be a move here. Castle, play rookie 8. Do I take with a knight or do I take with a pawn? I guess I take with a knight. Huh. This actually is not what I want at all. I'll go f6. Is d4? I have e4. Maybe I have bishop g4 next move as well. Probably gonna go like rookie one. One king h8. Let's play rookie one. So I, of course I go king h8. Now I go bishop g4. If I get bishop g4 in, I think I'm completely fine. Let's see what's going on here. I take. I mean, I don't really think that white is better here. Maybe I had knight seven was better than fb5, but still, I feel like I should have more than enough co compensation here. Takes on e5, wow. I think Bornick's a little bit tilted here, because rook takes e5 does not look like the right move at all. He's definitely a little bit tilted after the last game. So after knight 7 I think he's in really bad shape here. I think he's close to lost. I mean, I have this. Got rook g3, though. He has some play. I still don't believe in this, though. I really don't believe in this at all. Got what? One pawn or two pawns? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. He's got one pawn for the... Uh, one pawn here. And I, I think I'm in good shape. I just have to be smart. I think this is the move. So I have check. This is the important thing. I have an in-between check here. Check. And if he goes to f1 or h1, he loses on g2, I take, and then he loses the rook, and he's, he's just completely toasted here. If rook h3, just knight f4, rook g5, knight f3, he moves the knight, I take, take, voila, finish. Finito, 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 Garcia. I think he has to go knight c3 and just... Try to go for something, but I mean, he's just so lost here. Well, I mean, the, you can say it's super easy, but it, it's it's because the first it's because the first game. If the first game turns out differently, then it's all a different story. But I mean, I mean, first of all, I can just take. Look at these knights. These knights are gonna win me the, the, the this game. These knights. Okay, how do I win? Actually, let's think about this. Rook d one. He's got knight c three. And he tries to serve. I mean, I can take, take, but I, I want to find a kill, kill. I want to find the kill shot here. I don't see the kill shot. So let's, let's just be smart about it. No need to be stupid. These knights win me the game. Yeah, okay. So now it's just a matter of finding the cleanest way to win. Rook d7 wins. Go and check. So actually, 
Is this a checkmate? Let's see if I can puzzle rush it. So check takes check. King h5 gets... Wait. King, G, King h5 gets me. So King g5, h6. Here, here, here. Check King h5. Let me think. Rook f3 takes check. King g5 only move. h6. King g6 loses. So King h5. F6. King h5. I actually don't know why I'm, why am I even thinking about this. But king h7 looks clean. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Let's try to style. Let's try to let's try to style it. I'm gonna try to style it. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna try to style it here. I'm gonna break my own rules and try to style him. Because I have too many checkmates here. Yeah, I just take, and now he has, there are more checkmates here as well. Yeah, they just take. There we go. Match over. We get the dubs. Two zip. Thinking you know, of Milt Duds for the Prime. Thank you so much for Milt Duds. Appreciate it. All right, we get another win. Very good stuff. A very, a very, a very a good stuff. Okay, so let's move it over. Let's see. Who are... Okay, so... So they should have my score. Okay, so I'm I'm through. So let, let me just adjust this a little bit. I mean, I assume Minlay is through, right? You would assume. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, so who's playing? Is Minlay still playing or did he win? Minlay must have won, right? Um, I don't see a game. So Minlay, did Minlay win? Um, it looks, oh, he's playing. There's his game, okay. Minlay is white. Yeah, Minlay is going to win. Okay, so we're going to play Minlay in the semis. So it's as expected. What else is new? Um... Bortnick is again upset like every week. <laughs> is Bortnick upset? Is he is he is he uh cursing on his stream again like he was last week? Maybe Tazzy Rock for the Prime. Anyway. Okay, so so yeah, so we're gonna play Minlay in the next uh in, in the semifinal. So I'm gonna take a short break. I think I have time. Take a short break, run the restroom, we'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. So what's going on? What's going on? Did Meyer win his match yet or not? I think there's still a couple games going. Wait, no, not this. Um, thank you to Hoffs for the eight months. Thank you so much to Hoffs. Appreciate it. Um, are, all the, are all the matches over? Yeah, all the matches are over. So let me just see when we play. All right, so we're going to play our matches first against Minlay, and then there's the other semifinal after that. So um, so here we go. They get Crixie for the tier one. Thank you so much, Crixie. Uh, facing Minlay in the semis feels like the finals. Yeah, but the thing is, even if I want, even if I win, I still have to play Meyer. Like, I have to, I have to play everybody. Uh, thank you to Strock for the five gifted. Thank you so much to Strock. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, Bornig is Malding. Okay, well, why is that my fault? I, I mean... What, what am I supposed to say? I made Bornick mad. He stopped his stream. Okay. I made a Bombus for Vitus for the Prime. Thank you so much. Is mad at himself not a bad thing? Yeah, that's true. True. I would say Renato has generally been more unpleasant to play against than Minlay. Minlay is very good in the time scrambles, but Renato is probably, he finds more like fundamental concepts than Minlay. So like if Minlay gets in a scramble against me or anyone, he's very capable of winning. Uh, but it feels like Renato, Renato can't, can't keep track in like the, the really fast end games. But if, um, but if, you know, if it's, if it's uh, in the middle game, Renato will find better ideas than, than Minlay generally. 
So it's like it's one or the other. It's kind of like Minlay, if you he, if you get 10 seconds or less, he's on par with anybody. Renato, if it's 10 seconds or less, he's not on par. But Renato in the middle game can find more. So it's it's just uh, stylistic. Thank you to Scott the Third for the uh, 29 months. Thanks so much. Uh, my match is the first one, yeah. Okay. Oh, 250 out of 250 subs. Thank you so much to Scott X for the Prime. Once again, big shout out to nearly 10,000 of you guys for watching. Hope you're in a fantastic Wednesday afternoon here, uh, here wherever you are in the big wide world. Uh, if you do, by chance, happen to have Amazon Prime, you guys, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe for free to one channel every month. So instead of having to spend $5 to sub, you can sub for free. So connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. Take money out of Jeff Bezos' pocket while he's off doing these silly things like going to space and put that money in the in the pockets of hardworking streamers. Hey, Lord Kenneth the Bond for the four months. Thank you so much. Oh, it's been lay away from his computer or something right now. I mean, this is unpleasant because, like, is Minlay there or not, you guys? Is he there or not? I mean, it's a question. Like, or was he, maybe he was just on another tab. I don't know. I think this is dubious, actually. I think this is dubious, as I recall. But B5 and takes. Because A5, I go B5. Like, A5, B5, I think it's very dangerous. I just take. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this isn't clear, but... I guess I'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move. He's not going to take B5, but it's a safe pre-move, so I might as well pre-move it. Okay, take, so I take. So now I have knight b5, I have bishop a3 here and bishop b5, which I thought was strong. Let's just go here. I got bishop b5. He's going to, oh, he goes bishop d6, which I thought was wrong. Wait a second, that looked wrong to me. I thought I had this. Maybe even rook c1, maybe I, no, I just take and take. Go here. I think I have this maybe. Go here. Oh my gosh, I just threw so hard. Oh wait, no, I didn't throw. I have rook c8. Oh, or wait, 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 wait. I kind of threw, but I kind of didn't throw at the same time. Like I missed this tactic, but I'm probably somehow in the game still. I like kind of threw. I guess he just makes a draw probably. Yeah, it's just probably... Oh, he goes queen e7. Interesting. I don't know if I believe in this move, though, because I think this is a little bit dangerous. Go here. He has no rook b2, and now I have rook c7. He should not have done this. I think he might be losing here. This is very, very dangerous. Hmm. It's a good move, too. Very, very good move. I think maybe the only move that doesn't lose. Okay, let's just... Oh, wait. Actually, wait. But now I see. It's not so easy. Let's just go here, maybe. Plays that five to trade. Yeah. I think there's some way to win this.
Wait, I thought I had a trick here. I don't have a trick. Ugh. I'm going to have to flag him, but... Yeah, let's get the win. Not happy about it, but it's a win. I mean, if he had the 30 seconds back, it's a draw. If he has the 30 seconds back, it's a draw. But whatever. Doesn't That doesn't really make me very happy. Yeah, he if he, if he had the 30 seconds, he draws that game easily. Not even a question. And I probably offer him a draw if that's a regular portion of Arena Kings, by the way. But because it's the knockout stage, I mean, I, it's like, it, it all matters. If that, if that was regular Arena Kings, I think I offer him a draw. I'm pretty confident when I say that, that I would have offered him a draw. But it's it's a knockout phase, and you're like, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to do. And it's like, it's all just kind of, it's all kind of icky, I guess, is the way to put it. I'm going to castle. Go here. What would you say? Best of three? Yeah, it's best of three. What do you mean? I mean, if he had been able to keep the pawns, if he hadn't blundered with, like, D3, I would have given him a draw, too, most likely. But when, when I got to Rook and Pawn versus Rook, there was no way that I was going to give him a draw. There's Queen... Now, this is something that... What's his name? Um, Was this... Uh, this was not... Who played this? I had this against the Jospin. That's what I'm thinking of. A5 is a very weird move. I don't understand that at all. I'm going to go here, maybe Bishop A and B4. Okay, I guess I'll play H5. I don't know if that's right either. Let's go here. Knight G5, I just go F6. Really want to put my bishop here and do something on this diagonal. Let's go here. And he can take, but I just go Knight F6. Yeah, Knight G5. If I play Knight F8, take 6, I have Knight G6 anyway. And I always have knight b3 as well, which is important. Rook, rook b7 is a move. I mean, he's probably going to sack. I mean, I, I don't know what else he can really do. Although I think knight f8 was kind of insane too. Okay, let's just go f6. Knight h3. That's also a weird move. I mean, I guess the question is, do I take a5 or not? Like, am I actually getting mated here? Let's just go here. What's that fork? I'm going to take... I mean, maybe you can take e5 here, too. Should be fine, but I need to be smart. Okay, I think I have to take. And do I go knight d7? I think I should. Or do I put this knight? It's so tricky. Takes, takes. Queen g2, king h8, rook g3, knight h7, rook g7, knight c5. I think this is... I'm going to go for it. I might just lose here, but I'm going to go for it. Rook e5 was the other option. I don't see the win for white here. So I'm going to do it. And this might not work, but I, I'm going to try it. I'm going to put the I'm going to put all the onus on him to show me the checkmate here because I don't see the checkmate. And if there is a checkmate, so be it. But I just I just don't see it because I have knight h7 and then I cover with rook g8. And either he has a win here or I get the knight to e5. And after I get the knight to e5, I think he's in very poor shape now. He's fine, but it, he's probably going to lose now. Because now my rooks are active. Now if I take a5, I win the game.
So let's go here and take the pawn. I think everything's holding, kind of. This knight c6, which I think is a bad move. Check and take. Yeah, this is not working out. I just take. Yeah, it's not working out at all. Because now his king is weak. He's down two pawns. He's not going to get an attack. He's got a bad bishop. And I think it should be over. I think you got a letter up for the two months. And you got a letter up. It's not over for sure. Like, I'm not, I'm not jumping up and down. Because there's still play left in the position. But it should be winning with correct play. At least as far as I can tell. And he's also way down on the clock. Like, way, way, way down on the clock. Go here. I should have gone rook g7, maybe. Anyway, he wants d6, d7. So I think I'm just going to bring my queen back. If d6, I have rook d7. If queen h6, I go queen f8. Yeah, I think, I think this is just lost. He's just got no time either. Yeah, he's just losing. He's got a, he's got a bad bishop. His bishop is terrible. So there's, fundamentally, there's no way that he can be okay here. Yeah, I just go here and a4 and rook g7. Yeah, he's trying to do something. Let's just go here. If I take bishop h5, he's going for one last trick. Go here. Just take the bishop, ggs. Finito, 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 finito. There we go. Finito Garcia, we win again. 2-0, and um, we are into the finals. We are into the finals. Somehow it's like that first match was like, somehow that turned out to be the hardest one. Although, to be fair, if Minley wasn't down 30 seconds in that first game, he would have drawn that game. He would have drawn that game if he wasn't down 30, 30 seconds. So, kind of all relative. So, you play great, don't tilt yourself. No, I'm good. Finito is, uh, is, is, um, yeah, it's, I think it's Spanish and Italian. Or no, is it Finito? Uh, actually, wait, no, I think, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, first match was the toughest, so the final will be the easiest. I don't know. I mean, it's been tough. Uh, we're still waiting on Georg Meyer's game, so he'll be playing his match. Let me, let me adjust the, the, the window. Wait, no, sorry, that's the wrong way. It should be like. Yeah, so that should be good. All right, so we're in the we're gonna be in the final match. We'll watch uh, we'll watch the Meyer match, which should be starting in a second. It is started, by the way, so we'll follow this one for a little bit. This looks uh, winning for Black, I think. Wait, is there Rook takes D six here? Wait, what's going wait what's going on here? Rook takes D six. This is an Ortho Schnapps Gambit. This was an ortho schnapps gambit. Um, what's going on here? Wait, what? Isn't there just bishop f4? Or even knight takes... Wait, knight takes d... Wait, what? Knight takes d5 and black's just winning? Yeah, this is over. Yeah, this is just over. I don't know what this is. Yeah, Marco is the guy who got second in the arena earlier, which is what kind of messed up all the... Um, all the uh, all the um all the pairings for me and i had to play three very tough pairings to get to this point which is kind of annoying so yeah i mean bishop f4 is winning again like i bishop f4 and rook, rook hd8 looks like ggs to me rook b8 also good enough i think how do we do in arena kings we are going to be playing the final match very shortly against georg meyer um for all the marbles 
Three tough pairings makes it sweeter while it's four tough pairings. The final is a tough pairing as well. I think of Luka XX Lima for the prime. Again, why is Bishop F4? I don't understand. Why is Bishop F4 and Rook D8 not just... I mean, I guess this also wins, but everything wins here for black. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. Um, what's going on? Any serious marble players in chat from school days? Oh, marbles? I love playing marbles in school. I have a, I, a ba you mean like the, the old game with the marbles, right? I used to play that. I, like you have your bag of marbles. Yeah, yeah. I used to play that in the old days. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean what's on stream. I mean the old, the, the real, the real version. Boomer? Oh yeah, Boomer. Yeah, it's like you've got that thing and you got the marbles. Yeah, yeah. No, that that's like, uh, that's ancient. How how old was that? It's like I see, I'm just looking. I'm just now googling to see see if they're like when what year that's even from. Because I feel like that's something out of the '90s or something. Yeah, how to play marbles? Yep, exactly. Never heard of the marble gambit? No, I mean that was like yeah, 1994 ish. Back in the dark age, yeah, that was definitely before the internet really came about. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't I lose my marbles? Right, true. Yeah, I did. Uh, but anyway, all right. Okay, so Meyer is still playing. He still has not put this game away, but he, he is in the process of putting away. Bishop about four, maybe? If Meyer doesn't win this game, I'll be shocked. Rook takes h2. Free pawn, yeah, yeah. I mean, everything's everything's GG's here. Thank you to curl thirty seven ninety one for the prime. Thank you so much to curl. Appreciate. It. Takes. I mean, just for ugh, this is over. Am I looking at TCC? No, I'm not. I'm not looking at TC. I'm I'm running one last set of ads, you guys. La last set of ads. Um, just one minute. Okay, so king b1, bishop d6 is 93, just rook g5. Uh, I missed the stream yesterday, but QD Cinderella was playing chess last night. Saw a few of you guys there. Shout out to the chess addicts. Yeah, I wasn't playing chess, but uh, yeah. So many ads. Not really. This, like I said, this should be the last set of ads I run today. Uh, I am behind on my ads, and it's the end of the end of the month, you guys. So if I don't run the right amount of ads, I don't get paid. So it's kind of a big deal, uh, unfortunately. End of the month, I did nothing. <laughs> End of the month, I did nothing. Yeah, exactly. Why do you get ads? Because you're probably not subbed to the channel. If you are, then I, I don't know. Then that's just a Twitch issue. Because you shouldn't get them. Just set up a stream for ads only. Right. I should just... I should just... Uh, I should, how does Gabriel... How's Gabriel not won this game yet, by the way? For key three, yeah. Important. Yeah, I should run like a 24-hour stream of just of ads, right? Show up for eight minutes, run ads. Talk for another eight minutes, run ads. Yeah. Yeah, no, I actually I have to though. I'm I'm not I'm not trolling. Like I'm I'm required to, and usually at the end of the month I have to look and see where I am on my ads. And if if I'm low, like the time is not where it needs to be, I have to kind of run a bunch of ads like in the last like two to three two to three uh, streams for the month. So it's like it's not a uh, it's not a joke. And I think every every big streamer, uh, ha whether it's like they have a, a contract with an org or with t or with Twitch, they almost all have to run ads. Okay, what's going on? So e five and ninety four. Yeah, e five and ninety. This is terrible, by the way. I think h five takes takes takes. Yeah, Meyer's gonna win this game pretty cleanly, I think. The finals is best of five. Um, 
It's just trading Queen or Nightshade. Yeah, this is just over. So we're going to play Meyer. Hikaru in month end crisis. Yeah, I'm just telling you guys that if you see me suddenly run a bunch of ads at the, at the end of the month, like it's uh there there's like there's a reason for that. It's not like I'm just trying to be be a douche and uh collect money. I I literally have to. Every streamer I've watched run ads. I don't know if XQC runs ads. He might not, but um but I like I know Hassan runs ads. I mean, I think Pokemon runs ads. I've seen uh I've seen, I've seen, uh, I think I've seen Shroud run ads too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I've seen a lot of people run ads. Thank you to Leomatic for the eight months. Thank you to Mihawk WH for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right. So Georg is going to win. So we're going to play him in the final match. I'm just trying to think it's best of five. Yeah. Hassan runs ads at the top of the hour. Byron never ran ads. That is true. Byron never did. That's a good point. Top of the hour, every hour. Yep, exactly. Top of the hour, every hour. Okay, so this is game over, by the way. It's just GG's. Actually, I was thinking about that. You know, I was looking at I was looking at Twitter uh, because, like, I saw they report earnings tomorrow, and I, I was I was really wondering if I should just just do some kind of YOLO on Twitter because one one of my one of the most one of the most enjoyable trades that I did was uh was was like a Twitter trade when um when 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 like By Byron and I both went short Twitter ahead of earnings. So I was I was tempted to do something tomorrow, but I won't. Thank you to Dabs for Captain Planet for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Paul Sama for the five months. Thank you so much, Paul Sama. Straddle Twitter? Yes, I'm going to straddle it. Yeah. I don't think so. RWSB is leaking. Thank you, Jay Simmons, for the two months. Thank you, I forked the queen for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Everyone runs ads. I just, I just ride the bike. Arthur the Joker Fletcher. Okay. I have played poker, but not recently. Thank you, JTAM, for the four months. But I, I haven't played poker in a very, very long time. Okay. C5, C6, yeah, it's just over. Put your entire net worth into out of the money puts expiring Friday. Yes, like I would do that. I, if anything, I would bet it long. Market goes up. It doesn't go down. That's that's just how it goes. C6 is a move. Rook H7, C696, all very good. Yeah, I mean the thing is when you try to play poker even even on the delay, it's like it's like the thing is like I try I'm pretty conservative. So like I the thing is if I just keep getting like deuce nine offsuit every hand, I just keep folding and and like I'm not really in the mood to like play with thousands of dollars where I have to have like five or six tables open and then I have to have a HUD as well. Like I just I'm 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 not not gonna do that. So it's just not really worth it. But anyway. Is that ice cream behind me? No, that's G Fuel. That's G Fuel. That's G Fuel. You should be able to see. I mean, you should be able to tell that that's G Fuel, actually. Meyer's going to win, obviously. King A7 going for the cheek, cheeky stalemate. Oh, it's not stalemate. There's a square. Okay, I, uh, yeah. Uh, Meyer wins. So we're going to play Meyer. I don't know why he didn't resign. I don't know why, why this guy isn't resigning. But very weird. Anyway, it is G Fuel, though. All right, so Meyer wins. So we're going to play Meyer in the final. Uh, we should be getting pretty soon, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just see. Tough, tough matches today, though. It's been pretty tough. I've had to beat all the top guys. I had to beat... The Zhigalko in the first one, I had to beat Bortnik in the like in the in the quarters, and I had to beat Minlay in the semis. Now we're gonna play Meyer. So tough matches everywhere. Thank you to Tara JC for the prime. Thank you to So Free, literally dog water for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for the prime, man. What's the hype train up to? Hype train is what like hundred percent. Keep it going, you guys. Come on. Do you actually beat the market in stocks? Say benchmark S and P five hundred. 
I when I last looked I was up like 60 percent to 40 percent so that was like the last year or something obviously as you know long run matters more than single year but yeah I've had a pretty good run recently um but I own a lot of ETFs too thank, thank you to FEP even for the prime How do you keep up so many hours in front of the PC? Um, well, you guys, there's this great thing called um, called G Fuel. If you've never heard of G Fuel, you guys, make sure to go to the G Fuel website. Use code, code Hikaru. You can get up to 30% off on select flavors of G Fuel, you guys. So that's how you do it. You get your you get your powder. You, you, you pour, pour it with your water. You stir it. And uh, you fuel up before your streams, before you go to work, whatever it is. And um, you keep it going. And that's how, that's, how you, that's how you keep your energy levels where they need to be for whatever you're doing on that day. Uh, thank you to Forensic Life Coach for the 300 bits. Thank you to Aqua, my love, for the Prime. Thank you to Fool Steve Martin for the 300 bits. Thank you to Old Deer Dude for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Yeah, there's no, you can't, your ad block is broken. Exactly, yes. Uh, the final should be starting in like a minute or two. I think they said three minutes, so it should be starting very soon. Do I recommend to play the Pyrrhic Defense at 1500? No, I don't recommend it. No, I definitely don't. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Uh, I beat Georg in the, in the finals. It was a pretty tense match. Maybe like the first week of... Uh, uh, first week of Season 7 of Arena King. So probably about a month and a half ago. I beat him, I think, in the first finals. I haven't really played... I don't think I've played Myron in any of the other Arena Kings, weirdly, in, in, in the knockout phase. Yeah, I don't think I've actually played him, which is kind of weird. Where is Danny? I haven't seen him for ages. Danny's been doing commentary, I think, on the um, FIDE World Cup for chess.com. But yeah, he hasn't been streaming much. He, thank you to Clever Bean for the Prime. I mean, a lot of people haven't been... Uh, a lot of people haven't been streaming is what it feels like. Where's is, where is V Pranav? I don't know. Oh, Dan is teaching at chess camp as well. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Um, so yeah, every, everybody's doing their doing their own thing. Like I'm still streaming like always. I mean, a lot of people like Levy, for example, he doesn't really stream anymore. He just makes YouTube videos. Um, Botez has been streaming, hasn't been streaming that much, it feels like. Uh, I think she's picked up a little bit in the last week, maybe, but she hasn't been streaming that much. Danny hasn't been streaming much. It's just been a pretty pretty barren wasteland for the chess uh, chess category, it feels like, in the last month, month and a half, I feel like um but yeah botas has lately she's been streaming more but uh it just feels like the whole category has been pretty pretty slow of late do i think the chess boom is over uh i mean i think there are going to be ups and downs uh, like with anything i mean in terms of like a huge boom like what happened with twitch or, or queen's gambit i doubt it i don't think there's going to be another like massive way um, that it's going to go, it's going to go up like that. But I do think there will be, uh, there will be, there will be highs and lows in, in the middle. Um, that's what I would say. You read like George? It's no, it's Georg. That's uh, that's German, German Austrian, yeah. So yeah. But yeah, anyway, that's what I would say. So on Twitch, Twitch is different. YouTube's a little bit. YouTube's obviously quite different. But um, but but like on on Twitch, it's definitely it's definitely slowed down. Uh, game should be starting. I don't know why the game hasn't started. Yeah. Okay. They said incoming, so we should be starting now. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's close this board. I'm gonna play slow. Let's just play slow chess. I don't want to play anything super super aggressive here. Bishop g4 is a strange move. Oh. Wait a second. This looks very weird. No, this is not right. Is this right? No, this, this can't be right. Can't be right. Or is Or am I just stupid? I, maybe I'm just stupid. I think I'm just up a pawn here, though, unless I'm losing my mind. 
which is entirely possible. I'm just going to be up a pawn here. I don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know the theory and gear is just better than me, but to my, to my untrained eye, it looks like I'm just up a pawn here. And Gear using all this. Whoa, he does this. Wow. Well, let's, 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 let's find out. Okay, let's take. I mean, it's, it's only a, wait, wait a second. Let's go check. Maybe this is just equal, but it looks weird. Go here, maybe just bishop d2 and king d2. Go here, I have bishop a4 to hold, hold. Pawn and like king e2. It's not wonderful, but I think I'm just up a pawn. And I have two bishops for the long end game. That's, that's, that's going to be ahead for both of us. Let's go here. My bishop's not great on e4, but it's also kind of, but it, it also is multifunction. Long term, I assume I'll get scope down this long diagonal, even though right now it's just sitting on the edge of the board. It goes bishop b4. I'm kind of surprised to see that. I mean, maybe I... Let's just go here. Why not? If he, un... if he wants to undouble my pawn, so be it. Okay. Go here. Let's give him a5. Maybe I did. Wait, I have bishop e8. I have bishop e8 here. Wait a second. Takes check, check. I mean, I think this this must be right. Go here. I have a rook a6 or a rook... Actually, rook a7 is very dangerous here. Rook a7 and rook d7 is almost winning on the spot. Okay, I can... Let's see. Okay, I've got what? I've got a buck 55, so I have plenty of time. So the question is rook a7. This looks very strong. Rook d7 is a huge threat here. This is just a massive epic threat to end the game on the spot. I think this is just losing for black. I'm trying to figure out, see if there are any tricks, but I don't see them right off. Plays e5. Okay. So in check, I can also just go king c2 very quietly and hit the rook. Rook b4 takes maybe. Maybe I just take and go f4 even. I also have rook a6 here and takes. I feel like I should be winning here somehow. Ugh. Let's see. So king c2 is obviously a move. Before. I'm going to go here. Goes rook b6. I think that's a mis... I have so many pawns here. I'm also threatening checkmate in one, by the way, with bishop d7. It's actually just checkmate threat. I just realized. Yeah, he's just, he's just lost here, I think. This just does not look right. This F6. I so I should. Wait, I have F5, Knight F5. Doesn't work. So let's check. Play E6. It's a very dangerous pass pawn. But is it winning? I'm not sure. So I'm going to go here and just get the bishop on a better square. Or did I just blunt? Wait, no, wait. Check and I take and I win the... Oh, wait. I take and I win the game... Game, right? I have f5. Check and f5. Yeah, I just won the game. There's signs. We got the first win. One up, one down. Tough game, but it's a win. Okay, let's let's go back to being Mr. Mr. Super Solid, I think. But it's what's been working so far. Oh, right. He plays this a5 line that I, for I forget what I'm supposed to do against this. Um, go c5. Maybe wrong, but I'm going to try it. Just a6. I'm probably just going to take this pawn if he does it, I guess. Eh, why not? I'll just take it. It's a free pawn. If he plays a6, which I don't think he will, but he might. The c3 logical move. I can play e6 here. I can play b6, maybe. Probably bad, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
just to simplify the position a little bit here. I kind of wonder, okay, just he does take, so let's take. He takes, I take with the knight or the queen. I think I'm kind of okay if I get e6 and bishop b7 in. I get a shadow king, Farouk, for the six months. Thank you so much to the shadow king himself. Go here, if I get e6 and rook c8, I don't see why I should ever be worse. I think it's actually a pretty pleasant position here, weirdly enough. So let's just go... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, c4 is a move. Do I want to go c4 or not? c4, knight a5, bishop a6, knight e5, e6. I think I do want to do it. I'm just going to go here. And then knight e5, e6, or rook d8, maybe. Okay, because bishop f4, strange move. Do I go a c8, or I think I go a c8, knight e5, and then I go e6, maybe, or bishop b5 to take. Just need to put pressure on this pawn on c3. Queen c2, another move that I don't understand at all. And play knight h5, maybe. Go knight h5 and hit the bishop. And if I get rook b8, then I should be happy. Like, go b8, fc8. Looks pretty pleasant for me. G4, I just go back. There's knight e5. That's actually probably a very good move that I kind of underestimated. But I do have this. Knight c6, I take, 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 and I'm okay. If he takes, I take, and I'm okay. Tricky, but I think I'm okay. At the end of the day, I am okay. Yeah. It's not going to be five games, you guys. If I win three games, it's over. The match ends um, as soon as someone has scored the required number of points. 10,000 viewers, you'll, you're okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need to go to start for the four. Yeah, I guess Bishop F3, but, like, I just don't like this somehow. He, won. he wants Bishop F4, but, like, why am I supposed to be so concerned? I just go here, and, I mean, when he plays B3, he creates this weakness on C3 permanently. Another move that I don't understand. I'm going to go here. Now I have E5 as a huge threat. Kind of misplaying this rather significantly, I think. Yeah, queen a2, that really does not concern me. I, I think I think Georg's really starting to misplay this. He goes b4, which I, I actually am very happy to see him play b4. Because now I think that I, I think his knight is just dead on the rim. Let's go here, maybe. The thing is, his knight is just kind of dead. Now, I can trade, but if his knight is dead, do I really want to trade? Probably not. So let's go... Let's go here, maybe, to take. I just give knight b7. Didn't see it. He could have traded and got knight b7. Now, I assume I go knight e8. This e4. I can play f6 here. I can also just trade. But I've missed, I've definitely misplayed this quite seriously, I think. Hmm. Let's think. g5, bishop d6. If I take queen e5. F6, queen f4, e5. Let me get sharp. Exactly not what I want. This is exactly the opposite of what I was hoping for in this game. So I'm going to go f6 here. Go here. And I have e5. I can also take it somewhere. I think I'm just going to go here, though. e5, that's a... Um, go here, knight e8, rook f6. That's just a big mistake by Georg. Inexplicable mistake, actually. Just inexplicable. Um, let's go e4. Go here to hit the queen.
Okay, there we go. Another one. Got the win. Let's keep going. Two up, two down. Okay, let's stick to our routine. Let's keep it real with knight f3, e3, and c4. Okay. So c4, d4. Yeah, now he's going to go bishop g4. I'll play h3 and take. Go here. Castle. Let's go queen e7. I go queen e2. E8. This again a lot. This he's playing. This is what I had against Minlay actually, with f4 and b4. Go b4. He wants f5. Go b5. G5. Wow. Okay. Exciting. It's gonna be an exciting game. Okay. Let's uh let's take here. Go here. I want to go rook b7. F6, okay, let's just go in. A5, that doesn't really concern me. I'm threatening knight d5 here as well. Oh, there's a free pawn maybe? Oh, is there a free pawn here? There might have been a free pawn there, but whatever. Okay, let's just take. Still very complicated. He's going to go knight e4. And obviously trade. I also have bishop. Actually, I think I want to trade off rooks here. I want to really flatten the game here. I want to flatten this game. So this is how I do it, is I get rooks off the board, and once the game is flattened, then I can't I, I can't really lose this, I don't think, if I'm able to flatten the board. If I get bishop c7, e5, he's actually in really bad shape. Rook f6, I mean I can obviously take. He wants rook g6. I suspect that I'm winning here with correct play. I don't know why, but I just I have that feeling that somehow this is winning. But I don't see the win. And obviously just take the pawn, but I think I'm just going to be stable here. Let's just be solid. Let's just go here to stop this nonsense. And I can just always take the pawn. And I'm just going to run this bad boy to eight. I'm going to ask him, how does he attack me? And not lose everything. Because I think he's actually close to lost here. My instinct tells me this is, yeah, he goes a5. I'm going to go here. If a4 I just take, I can always always go back. It plays h5, logical. I'm just going to go here. Basically, I'm just going to sit on the position and wait to see what his move is. Okay, he goes king h7. Now I'll go here. Maybe even bishop b... Oh, wait, no, that hangs g2. Go a3. Okay, he goes king h6. So now I'm going to go rook c7. I'm basically just sitting on the position. I'm just sitting on this and waiting to see what he can do. He goes queen f7. If I take his knight f6. And sooner or later, I probably have to take. But let's just go here. Uh, I've actually misplayed this. Okay, let's go here maybe. Ah, maybe I have g3 too, actually. This is almost winning. Actually, this is almost just winning. Go here. I'm just I'm trying to go here and then h4, but there's a wait a second. This is so close to winning. I feel like I've misplayed this again. So let's just take whatever. Here. I guess I go bishop e2. Go here, target the pawn. And play a4 if I want to. I think I'm just going to go here, though. And now if I take what he is, rook a3, so I'm going to go here. Just take and go here. Just take away the danger. More important to not lose the game than it is to win this game. Although, actually, he's just lost, I think. Go here. Take. Check, and then I go check. And then I go check. Maybe 1600 Dementia Avenue for the Tier 1. We're going to win. Three zip. Good, good stuff. For those three very tough games, I gain a whopping two points.
two points very very impressive two points so we went three zip we win the whole thing um very very clean finish oh sorry i didn't have the i didn't have the graphic showing correctly but yeah, we end up winning we end up winning three zero as the final sorry i didn't have the graphic showing the right way but we went three zip in the finals in the best of five we collect our 500 dollars, you guys 500 big ones so i'm gonna take a short break we're in the restroom we're gonna come back and do some puzzles so i'll be right back in one second 